Hey, what is this? It is the one and only visual sensory organ in human body, the eye. That means it is the human organ that allows them to see the outside world, just like a Ultra HD camera. You are correct, Jonathan. Let's learn more about it. So, let's learn the basic parts of it. First, we have eye muscles, which helps to move the eye around. Then we have a layer called sclerotic layer, which is tough and doesn't allow light to pass through. Choroid is the red color layer here, which supplies blood to the eye, just like in water pipes. Then the cornea, which is a thin part of the sclerotic layer in front of the eye. This is iris. It controls the amount of light entering the eye. Aqueous humor is a watery fluid that fills the empty space right here. Pupil is the hole right here that allows light to enter and pass through. This is the lens, just like in cameras, but this lens is a biconvex lens. That means that both sides of it are convex. This brown color part here is the ciliary muscle, which changes the curvature of the lens. Whoa, no camera in the world can do that. What is this part right here? It is the yellow spot or forvia. It is where sharp images are formed. Is this the optical nerve? You're correct, Jonathan. This is the part that carries visual signals from the eye to the brain. Okay, let's learn how it works. Here you can see a basic diagram of the eye. There is the lens, retina, and the object you are looking at as the blue colored dot. Don't forget these blue color lines are light rays from the object you are looking at. So when you are looking at an object that is far away, the lens becomes less curved and focuses the light rays on to one sharp point on the retina just like in this picture. Then the optical nerves send a signal of what the eye is looking and the brain can identify what it is. Opposite when you are observing a close object like reading a book for example, the eye lens become more and more curved to focus the light rays to a sharp point. What about eye defects? Of course, we're going to talk about two main eye defects today, long sightness and short sightness. First, let's talk about short sightness. A person with short sightness can focus a close object properly onto the retina, but objects far away aren't focused properly causing a blurry image. So what are the main causes for this? The main cause for this is eye is too long. This defect can be corrected by using a concave lens in front of the eye to correct the light rays accordingly. Then there is long sightness. A person with this defect can only see far objects clearly, close objects become unclear. So a person with this defect will be having some trouble with reading a book. This defect can be easily corrected by using a pair of glasses with convex lens. The main cause for this is the eye is too short. Now you must understand about the human eye, right? 